During the high heat of the summer, Exxon Energy encouraging homeowners to switch to a cheaper, greener cooling system. Colorado's Public Utilities Commission approved the county's first ever green energy plan for XL Energy. Your reporter Tori Mason explains how it works. 83, 84, something, I think 85 one night, yeah. Greg's AC unit served him well for 20 years. Unfortunately, it decided to give out during the hottest time of the year. We've been opening up all the doors and windows in the morning and bought some fans. He's upgrading to a heat pump system. This year, XL Energy increased their rebates for making the switch. It's part of the clean heat plan, moving homes away from natural gas. And it's whisper quiet. Greg figured going green will save him green on the bill. Can't be higher. <laughs> now, why would a company that makes money selling energy encourage their customers to use less? Well, the PUC pays XL back the revenue they lost if they meet their energy savings goal. And this is an old, super inefficient air conditioner. Terry with Hartzell Heating and Air is replacing Greg's system. Most of it also has R22 refrigerant, which has been banned by the EPA for its toxicity to the environment. Heat pumps have grown to be about 80% of his business. It provides year-round comfort by heating your home in the winter and cooling it in the summer, all in one unit. So I don't know if you can hear the difference, but you can clearly hear this one. Can you even tell that that one's on? The state also offers tax credits for making the switch. Does it work as well? It works significantly better. He says new systems are removing heat twice as fast. Some homeowners still opt for hybrid systems with a furnace for colder months. So 84 in here, cooling to 70. The only downside, Terry says, they're booked about three weeks out for service. In Arapahoe County, I'm Tori Mason. It'll be nice to have a cool place tonight. <laughs> Covering Colorado first.